Hey, it's Rick Kettner here. Let's explore five of the very best advertising books for startups and small businesses. This is important because the number one reason why a business can ultimately fail is due to a lack of customers. It's not enough just to have a great product or a great service, we must also have an effective method for attracting and converting customers in a reliable and predictable way. And of course, this is where advertising can be very helpful. So the books in this list focus on a range of topics. Some focus entirely on advertising itself and others focus on complementary skills that can help you make the most of your advertising budget. And of course, needless to say, this list is far from exhaustive. There are many, many great books out there on everything from advertising to copywriting and even just marketing in general. But what I've tried to focus on here are the five books that I feel will have the greatest immediate impact for your startup or small business. So with that in mind, let's jump straight into the list, beginning with Traction by Gabriel Weinberg and Justin Mares. Before spending a small fortune to advertise your business using a specific advertising opportunity, it's very important to understand that not all marketing channels perform equally for different businesses. So for example, one advertising opportunity might work exceptionally well for another business, and yet when you apply it to your business, it might not work very well at all. And the opposite is also true. You might find something that works very well for your business and yet doesn't work for other businesses. So it's very important to keep this in mind when identifying advertising opportunities for your business. And of course, to avoid going all in on a strategy before validating and confirming that it is indeed going to work for your business. Now, Traction covers 19 different proven marketing channels, but more important than that, or at least more relevant when it comes to what we're talking about here, it covers what's called the bullseye framework, a simple four-step process that you can use to test and validate various advertising and marketing opportunities. So you can figure out without spending a lot of money which of those marketing opportunities are the best fit for your specific business. And then you can ramp up your spending when it comes to advertising or marketing opportunities that are a fit for your business. Now, to be clear, this book does focus very heavily on non-advertising related marketing channels. It does cover a few advertising channels, but a lot of the content centers around other marketing possibilities. But when it comes to the bullseye framework, that's where the core value is within the context of this video. And I believe that just going through this book is also very likely to open your eyes to other marketing possibilities that don't involve paid advertising. And you might find a lot of value in that as well. Now, if you're interested in learning a little bit more about this book before you pick up a copy, I do have a follow-up episode where I cover three of my favorite insights from the book in a little bit more detail and I'll link that up for you down in the episode description box. Let's continue on to The Ultimate Guide to Google Ads by Perry Marshall, Brian Todd, and Mike Rhodes. People turn to Google when they're looking for a solution to a specific problem. And as a result, it's one of the very best advertising opportunities for getting in front of people when they're ready to make a purchase. Now, of course, getting listed in the search engine results is completely free. But if you wanna be listed at the very top of the results for phrases that are directly related to your business, that's where Google advertising or Google ads are an opportunity for you to get that top placement by paying a premium. And this is very much worth it if there are keywords or keyword phrases that are directly related to what it is that you offer to people, especially if there's local elements to the search phrase or clear commercial intent. So in the first example, something like Chicago Dental Office, or in the second example, something like buy winter tires for GMC Sierra. So when you have a phrase like this that is clearly related to your business and tends to indicate somebody is looking for a product 
or a service, you're almost certainly gonna wanna explore the possibility of using Google Advertising to promote your business. And that's where the ultimate guide to Google Ads can help because this book can not only help you when it comes to best practices, it can also help you avoid very common mistakes that might prevent you from being profitable when attempting to use this marketing channel. So by going through a book like this, you can give yourself the best opportunity for being successful with this channel and turning it into a profitable one for your business. And there are multiple versions of this book that have been updated and revised over the years. So if you're gonna pick up a copy, be sure that you find the very latest edition. I believe this is the sixth edition, but make sure that you find the latest edition when you pick up a copy so that you get the most up-to-date information. Next on the list is The Ultimate Guide to Facebook Advertising by Perry Marshall, Bob Regnerus, and Thomas Malosh. Facebook is another excellent opportunity for reaching potential customers. And unlike with Google Ads, those customers don't have to be actively searching for your product or service in order for you to potentially reach them. Because with Facebook, you're using demographic information to target potential customers. So for example, age, location, gender, language, interests, and other profile information like this can be used to target your advertising campaign to reach an audience that you believe will be interested in your products or services. Now, one of the real benefits to a platform like Facebook, of course, is social sharing. So if your product or service naturally lends itself to word of mouth referral, where potential customers are recommending your product or your brand to other people, then you can benefit from the social amplification that is built into Facebook. And if you're gonna explore this platform, then I recommend that you pick up a copy of The Ultimate Guide to Facebook Advertising because as with the previous book, this book can help you adopt best practices and avoid common mistakes. Just as with Google Ads, Facebook advertising is a game of small changes. Tiny optimizations in your efforts can make or break your advertising campaign. So it's very important to understand the fundamentals and that's where a book like this can make a big difference. And as with the previous book, there are a number of editions of this book. So make sure that you're getting the very latest edition so that you have the most up-to-date information. Let's continue on to Marketing Made Simple by Donald Miller. Attracting attention to your business is only part of the equation. It's also important that you have an effective way to convert prospects into paying customers. Otherwise, your advertising efforts can be largely wasted because no amount of advertising can make up for a weak or confusing sales process. So marketing made simple can help you build an effective sales funnel, one that makes it very easy for potential customers to understand exactly what it is that you offer and why they might be interested in buying it. The book covers how to build five critical components for your marketing or sales funnel, including a one-liner, a website or landing page, a lead generator, an email nurture campaign, and an email sales campaign. The advice in the book can also influence the overall direction and messaging when it comes to crafting your advertisement. So while the book is not at all focused on copywriting, some of the ideas in the book, especially around the one-liner, might have an impact when it comes to crafting great copy for your advertisements. And if you're interested in learning a little bit more about this book, before you pick up a copy, I do have a follow-up episode covering three of my favorite insights from the book in a little bit more detail, and I'll link that up for you down in the episode description box. Next up, we have Hey Whipple, Squeeze This by Luke Sullivan and Edward Boches. One of the most important steps in successful advertising 
is creating great ads. And well, both of the Ultimate Guide books that we covered earlier in this list do cover a lot of helpful information for crafting ads that are designed for those specific platforms, you might be interested in additional information and inspiration around how you can craft ads that help your brand really stand out in the marketplace. Because the reality is most ads out there today are very bland and generic. They might mention a product or service, they might mention a feature or a benefit or some advantage to that solution, and of course they'll include a call to action. But if you really wanna stand out and have people notice your advertisements and be more drawn to your specific brand, then it can often pay to really understand the science and the art behind great advertising so that you can take things to that next level. And Hey Whipple, Squeeze This can help you get more out of your advertising by taking everything to that next level, giving you additional information, additional inspiration, and giving you all kinds of practical tips when it comes to digital ads, social ads, and even traditional ads. And as with the Ultimate Guide books, there are multiple editions of this book, so be sure that you get the very latest edition whenever you're aiming to buy this book so that you have the most up-to-date tips and guidance. Anyway, those are five of the best advertising books for startups and small businesses. If you're interested in other business-related topics like social media marketing, digital marketing, entrepreneurship, product management, or leadership, I do have dedicated reading lists that cover some of my favorite books on those subjects and several others, and I'll link those up for you down in the episode description box. But that's it for this episode. If you have any questions or comments about anything that we covered here, let me know down in the comment section below. And be sure to subscribe and visit rickkettner.com if you're interested in learning about other great business books for entrepreneurs. Thank you for tuning in, and I look forward to connecting with you again in the future.